Mrs. Chagres. In 1850, the little Indian village at the edge of the Panamanian jungle was one of the busiest ports in the so-called civilized world. The reason? Gold. But the gold wasn't here. It was in California, hundreds of miles away. The problem was how to get to California. Of course, not everybody who landed at Chagres was headed for California and its golden pipe dream. Some were in a hurry for other reasons. It's Mr. O'Rourke to you, sir. I'm going back to Texas. Hush, will you? Once he starts, there ain't no stopping him. Almost like being married. You spotted that shipment yet? Part of it. They're unloading it now. Uh, All right, keep looking. All right. most grateful. We wish to repay you. We no, are in your thank debt. You. Maybe you can give me a shove sometime. Keep your eyes open, all of you. taken care of. Hmm. Counted on being here before she docked. The Indians didn't know you were in a hurry. The passengers have left the ship. Does he remember the woman and the boy? Yes, there was a woman with a small Chinese boy and a man who was listed on the papers as a servant. We've missed her. Be glad you're not missing your head. We'll find her. Excuse me, gentlemen. Did I hear you inquiring about a lady and a small Chinese boy? Did you see the woman? Well, she had a near accident. She and the boy would have both been killed if it hadn't been for O'Rourke. I might have known. Well, who's O'Rourke? You'll find out. Come on, I'll introduce you. Is your name Ritter? That's right, General. I'll be in touch with you, Mr. Ritter. I think of love and golden times I miss my love so far away will he come back to me someday I stand alone no one is near is he alone as I am here I miss my love does he miss me? What 
what can I do but wait and see? Steh ich in finstrer Mitternacht, so einsam auf der fernen Wald. So denk ich an mein fernes Lied, ob mir's auch treu und hold verblieb. I stand alone, no one is near. Is he alone? Yes, I am here. I miss my love. Does he miss me? What can I do but wait and see? Your ship sails in less than an hour. I know when the ship sails, and I decided not to book passage on her. This morning you were so set on leaving. Remember when you threw the that bottle The only reason that I'm staying is that I didn't like the accommodations on the ship. And that's the only reason. You're getting awfully hard to please, Elena. You know, maybe if you went to San Francisco... I've stay. been in San Francisco, and I don't like it. I'm going to New York. Well, that's good. You can leave next week. There's a northbound ship, dude. I leave when I want to leave. If I decide to stay, I'll stay and... You're not even listening to me. All right, relax, folks. Everything's all right. Colonel Chauvin always pays his respects when he comes to Chagrin. The house will buy the next one. Well, Colonel, this is a surprise. I thought you were in Panama City. Weren't you alerted, as usual, by your Indians? What do you mean, my Indians? They follow your orders, don't they? The Chibchas don't take orders from anyone, Colonel. You know that. We were attacked on the trail yesterday. Two men were wounded, one killed. I'm sorry to hear that. Are you? I'm touched. Why is it the uh, bodies you arranged across the isthmus are so rarely attacked by the Indians? We all have our share of troubles, Colonel. If I have less than you, it's because I have a few friends among the Chibchas. Your card? I'm very lucky. Pay him off. Maybe if your people took a little time to make friends with some of the Indians, you might be welcome in the jungle. Maybe you're right. When I think about it, a man's chances for survival are better in the jungle with headhunters than with the cutthroats in this place. And a lot of decent people trying to get to California. You're a fine judge of character, Rock. So why don't you join these decent people and ship out to California with them? I like it here. Ah. It's nice when a man finds his own special paradise. But allow me. General John Doe and Captain Fang, this is Mr. O'Rourke. A great pleasure, Mr. O'Rourke. General? Oh, uh, the lovely lady is Elena. She's just passing through Chagres. Ma'am? Why not? I don't place the uniform, General. Now, Captain Fong and I have the honor of serving His Imperial Majesty, the Emperor of China. Well, uh, welcome to my humble establishment. Can I buy you a drink? Thank you. But right now, we're much more interested in a little information. You were seen at the wharf with a woman and a small Chinese boy. Is that true? Where is she now? I don't know. We understand that you helped her. And perhaps she'll just happen to stop in to express her gratitude. What's she done? Well, I can only assure you that it's a serious matter, Mr. O'Rourke. The woman is a fugitive. Unless she's arrested, there can be the gravest consequences for a great many people. Just remember, O'Rourke, if you like it here so much and you want to stay in Panama, I suggest you cooperate. I'll remember. That's good. A true friend is hard to come by these days. Thanks for the drink. Now. Mr. O'Rourke, this has been a great pleasure. General? Ma'am? I 
mention any woman to me. John Doe. How did he get to be a general in the Chinese army? What did he mean you were helpful to her? Talks like he's from the States. Why should she appeal to you? Shogun wants to check his credentials. It's all wrong. If she comes here, you are going to turn her over to them. They know something, Elena. The Orientals are right. There is something intriguing about a veiled woman. for him to arrange our passage if he is alone. I don't like this hiding game anymore. I do not like it either. But it will soon be over. Led us to the woman. All right, check with Pete at the transportation office. See if she's been there yet. Well, General, Mr. O'Rourke, you invited me to have a drink with you. I decided to take you up on it. If uh, we could find a quieter place. Why not? Tell me something, General. Yeah. Is your name really John Doe? Well, the Chinese couldn't pronounce the name I started out with. I was ready to change it anyway. So, John Doe. Simple, pronounceable. Water? Hmm? No, straight, thank you. Luck. Mr. O'Rourke, I think you and I are cut from the same bolt. That's why I feel that we can uh, do business together. It's taken me less than an hour to find out. Anybody wants to get anything done in Chagres, he sees you. <laughs> now, don't tell me Chauvin didn't warn you about me. The Colonel? He's hidebound. He's a prisoner of that noble heritage he's so proud of. In China, I'm surrounded by men like that. Can't understand why a foreign devil like me has bypassed them all. I'm curious. How did you? Well, you see, I was born in China. Grew up there learning their ways as well as the ways of the West. Gave me a certain advantage, but mainly because I was never afraid to take a chance. You make it sound easy. Well, I'll succeed. Because I'm not hamstrung into thinking there's only one way to do a thing. The trick is to choose the best one. And that's why you're here. The 
woman that I'm looking for will come to you. Because you offer her the best chance of getting to Panama City alive. And if she does, why should I turn her over to you? Because I'm going to make it worth your while. $5,000 for the woman and the boy. That's a lot of money. For doing very little. Now, that's an interesting proposition. I'll think about it. It's a clear-cut yes or no arrangement, Mr. O'Rourke. You have your methods, and I have mine. Like I said, I'll think it over. You heard me, lady. Four weeks and no exception. One exception and I'll lose my job. Who is your employer? It won't do you any good. Who is he? Mr. O'Rourke. You'll find him at O'Rourke's place just up the street. But I'm telling you, lady, you're wasting your time. Uh, excuse me. Uh, are you trying to get to Panama City? That is right. And you're in a hurry, and they told you you'd have to wait. Four weeks? That's a shame. I cannot wait. If Mr. O'Rourke will not help me, I will have to find someone else. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, I'm a guide myself. Ritter is my name, Alden Ritter. I don't take many parties across because it's, it's a dangerous trip. A lot of risk. So I pick and choose. Only those who can afford to pay enough to make the trip worthwhile. So if you're interested... All right! Look, it's the bird that talks. Evening, ma'am. Um, Mr. O'Rourke, fella gave you a hand on the wharf today. Asked me to keep an eye out on you. I would like to talk with him. Sure. Uh, thank you for your I offer, Mr. Ritter. <laughs> on the wharf with the general. Uh, they have been here? What did the general tell you about me? Only that you're a fugitive. Mr. O'Rourke, you must help us. First, take off the veil. Why? For two reasons. Number one, they're looking for a veiled woman. Number two, I'm curious. I'm glad I asked. Look, a little train. Ying Li, come here. It's all right. I rode a big train. You did? In the United States, we rode from Washington, D.C. to New York and back again. Ying Li, sit down. This is for you. 
I understand it takes five days to cross the isthmus. So we should leave tomorrow morning. We must be in Panama City by... Even if I could crowd you into one of the dugouts, the general will be waiting at the landing to arrest you. A private guide, then? Someone I can trust? Lady, I get the feeling you don't trust anyone. You're here asking for my help, but you don't really trust me. I am prepared to pay. And so is the general. $5,000 just for handing you over to him. No questions asked. But you would not... Well, why shouldn't I? I'd be cooperating with the law for a change. And at a good price. Is money all that matters to you? Both you and the general seem to believe that. So far, his offer's the better. And you have accepted it? No. Not yet. There's still too many things I want to find out. Like, who are you? What are you running away from? And who is General John Doe? Only one thing I can tell you that really matters. If General Doe finds me, he will have me killed, as I am sure he has had my poor servant killed. But perhaps that does not matter to you. Ying Li, wake up. Let him sleep. But we must leave. If you will let us, there is another man, Ritter. Stay away from him. He can't be trusted. Look, ma'am, we don't have any private rooms. But I think I can arrange for a tent where you can sleep tonight. You are going to help us? Let's take it a step at a time. She went into O'Rourke's place not more than 15 minutes ago. I saw her. You always seem to be watching at just the right time. You might consider adding him to your force, Colonel. He's accomplished more than all of your men. You may have left her rugs while you were on your way here. Captain Fong is watching. If she leaves, he'll follow her. Boone's bringing you things from the wharf. We'll talk in the morning. Thank you. the general. Keep Chauvin away from the tents as long as you can. I'll rock you. About. Where's the rock? Last time I saw him, he was in his office. Uh, who is it you are looking for? Don't you know? No. tents in the entire area.
twice now you have saved my life. Why do they want to kill you? Because of him. Your son. He is also the emperor of China. This little kid? His father, my husband, died several months ago. Word came to us in Washington. The outside world does not know yet. What's the general's stake in all this? Power. If Ying Li dies, my husband's brother will become emperor. General Do is his closest friend and advisor. The general will rule China. Must have happened just a few minutes ago. Are well, these are things. Yeah. She couldn't have gotten very far. I'd have a guard posted around this place. Find her in the tents, they will be back. What they do find might keep them busy for a while. They may not search here again, but if they do, you can stop them. Chauvin wouldn't want to hurt your feelings. You had no right to involve me. I was in trouble. I thought you'd want to help. I wanted to keep you out of trouble. If you would have listened to me or... They want to kill her and take the boy. Ah, oh, that's her story. And I believe it. Why? Why would they do that? Who is she, anyway? If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Why don't you try me? Later. I want to be in my office when Chauvin gets back. All right. Stay sweet, Elena. I am sorry we have taken your room. That doesn't matter. It's him I'm worried about. If Chauvin finds him here... I did not mean to bring trouble to Mr. O'Rourke. To anyone. But people in trouble always seem to find him, especially women. I go downstairs. You lock the door and don't let anyone in except me. San Francisco's Golden Gate waits with open arms. The welcome's great, so don't be late. Oh, hi there, where your anchor made? Sail direct to San Francisco's Golden Gate. A roving, a roving, the sailors find it out to wait till they meet the sweetheart known as Golden Gate. San Francisco's golden day waits with open arms. Oh, gentlemen. The land they are fond of. San Francisco's golden day. A roving, a roving, the sailors find it out to wait till they meet. Look, Colonel, I'm a patient man, but enough's enough. You've already searched this place from cellar to attic once tonight. We're going to search it again. Now I can do it quietly or clear the saloon and put you under arrest. Which will it be? Give me credit for a little common sense, Colonel. If I was hiding a girl, do you think I'd be stupid enough to put her in one of these rooms? Yes, if you thought I was stupid enough, not to search them a second time. Open it. All right, you win. Before you jump to a lot of conclusions, give me a chance to explain. All right, I'm listening. Explain. Explain what? Where is she? I honestly don't know. She was in one of your tents. We found her things. And the body of Captain Fong. Why are you hiding this woman, O'Rourke? Why are you hunting her? Because she kidnapped the boy from his father, her husband, His Imperial Majesty, the Emperor of China. Why? Because she's sly and vindictive. 
She knows this is the one weapon she can use against His Majesty, his only son. So she smuggled him out of China and brought him to the United States. It looks to me like she's headed back toward China, not running away. No, she intends to take him to San Francisco. You have no idea where she could be. I've told you the truth, Colonel. All right. I'll find her. And if you have been hiding her, I'll let you stay in Panama. But as my personal guest. Too bad you didn't accept my original offer. You'd have been $5,000 richer. Easy come, easy go. But I have another proposition for you, O'Rourke. Maybe not as attractive, but uh, may interest you. Got here a button. Obviously torn off your shirt. We both know when and how. Colonel Chauvin doesn't. Yet. And you're offering me that button in exchange for the woman and the boy. As I've always said, there are many ways for a man to get what he wants. You've got until tomorrow morning to make up your mind. sent my man for the necessary supplies. You better get some rest. It's a long, tiring trip. Did you find her? Well, what's the meaning of this? Don't you recognize him? Should I? He was the servant who left his ship with the boy and the woman. What happened? He's not sleeping. He was stabbed in the back. And robbed, too, probably. No, he was carrying a great deal of money, but it wasn't touched. He was killed for a different reason. But who in Chagres would want to kill this man besides you? Colonel, I don't like the implication. I'm not implying. I want to know. Was this man killed by one of your agents? You're accusing me of having killed this man? No, but I'm telling you. I don't intend to be played for a fool. And when the woman is found, before she surrendered to you, I mean to hear her side of the story first. Bury him before morning. Rita, take woman. Did you follow me? He was going to guide me to Panama City. You couldn't trust him to guide you across the street. Anyway, you'd never make it to Panama City. I've decided the best thing to do is go to Chauvin. The policeman? For once, I think I've been wrong about him. He will turn me over to the general. He's a fair man. He can give you the protection you need.
me six men and know how to shoot a gun and have short memories? I can get you a hundred. Come on. Assemble the detail. Oh, Juan, oh, Juan, oh, Juan, please forgive me. Say that you forgive me, I'm sorry. How could I do such a thing to you when you've always been so kind, so understanding? Will you forgive me, please? Will you? Yes. As soon as you tell me what you've done. Last night, I lied to you. Oh, I forgive you. And I'll prove it. Oh, but you don't understand. I like to protect a rock. That does make a difference. But still, you admit your mistake. You're sorry. Well, how can a man with my feelings refuse to forgive you? You still don't understand, Juano. Orog is taking the Chinese woman and the boy to Panama City. They left last night, but if you start right away, you can easily catch up with them. Why? But she's a fugitive. Panama is full of fugitives. But I'm in a most forgiving mood today. I forgive everybody. Oh, no. You duty. If I can forget it, why can't you? But... But you can't let a rock get away with this. Elena, there's one thing I cannot forgive. Mm. A woman who talks about another man while I'm kissing her. Where are you going? After a rock, and the general, and his cutthroats. And when I come back, I'll let you ask me for forgiveness again. My husband was older, but at first he was very kind, gentle. And when Ying Li was born, he was proud. You see, he thought he would never have a son. But then he changed. He became as a stranger and then an enemy. He did not trust anyone except his brother and General Do. And they, they both hated Ying Li. Even when I had proof that the general was really a sailor who had jumped ship to escape hanging for murder, my husband would not listen. And those at court who believe me were afraid. So we had to leave. You know, you're very beautiful. But now, Ying Li is the emperor. And once we are safely back at court, the general and my brother-in-law will be finished. And what's in it for you? I do not understand. I mean, you go through all this. Being hunted, risking your life for what? What do you get out of it? I am the emperor's regent. Also a woman. Mr. Olmuk, I... Mm. 
because you've been so brave. Now all of a sudden you're afraid. I am not afraid of you. But I cannot. I have to think of him. What is best? hours ahead. Get hurt. Get to the other side, quick!
before you arrest me, will you give me a chance to explain? Arrest you? I'm not here to arrest you. I'm here to guarantee you and the lady safe escort to Panama City. Safe escort? I'll make you the same guarantee. We'll escort each other, hmm? Same to you. We will never forget what you have done. We are in your debt. Maybe someday I'll come to Peking and collect. You look disappointed, Colonel. I was hoping you might change your mind and sail with her. Well, I was tempted. But I figured if I left Panama, things would be so peaceful you'd be out of a job. I wouldn't want that on my conscience. Before you leave for Chagres, here's a little gift for you, compliments of the general. May he rest in peace. Thank you, Colonel. Next time, O'Rock, I might not be so generous. Adios.